Welcome to lesson seven on health. Starting with SC14, measure my pulse rate accurately. Each time our heart beats, it causes a pulse of blood to go through our veins and arteries. We can actually feel this pulse of blood that's caused by the heart. If you look at the pictures below, you can see the two ways that we can try and measure our pulse. One is on the wrist and one is on the neck. Okay, so if I want to measure my pulse on my wrist, which I'll do it on this one, um, I need to obviously pull up my sleeve and then you need to use two fingers. You mustn't use your thumb because uh, it actually has its own sort of pulse uh, that will confuse you. So you use uh, this finger and this finger. Um, and you don't put them sort of at that angle. You want to lay them light, nice and flat because then you get a larger surface area, um, which means you're more likely to pick up your pulse. If you can't feel your pulse, then move your fingers to a different area. But in general, if you sort of feel down the center, you can feel um, kind of a bit that presses out sort of in the center here. Um, and then if you go just to the top of that bit, so if you're holding your hands at the same angle as me, put your fingers along that center bit, feel that center bit that pokes out and then just go very slightly above it. Now you do need to press down fairly uh, firmly. If you just press really lightly, you're not going to feel anything. So can you see how I'm pressing down? When I press down nice and firmly, I can feel my pulse really nice and strong. So, Okay, so if you're gonna try it out on your neck, again, you want to use those same two fingers and again, you want to have a nice flat um, surface, so don't poke them like that angle, you want them nice and flat. So if you feel up your trachea, which is along the center, and then when you get to just before your kind of chin there, if you then slide your fingers upwards, you should feel it sort of just below the chin, up to the side and again if you just press really lightly you're not going to feel anything you need to press nice and firmly you can see I'm sort of poking down nice and firmly and if you can't feel it then move your fingers and try a slightly different spot um, I find it easier on my neck to find it um, but you might find it easier on your on your wrist it really doesn't matter which one you do Okay, so if we want to find out how healthy we are, we can measure how fast our pulse rate is. Um, and to work out, and this will tell us our heart rate, how fast our heart is beating. So to work this out, we need to count the number of beats in one minute. So it's called beats per minute. So a healthy heart for your age should beat somewhere between 60 beats per minute and 95 beats per minute. So we're going to uh, fiddle in this table um, and I'll go through how to do that now. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to fill in the table by measuring our pulse rate. And we're gonna start by measuring it just for 15 seconds because it can be quite difficult to do it for a whole minute. So you don't need your own timer because you can use mine. Um, so you need to find your pulse rate now. If you need to pause the video, pause it um, and find your pulse rate. Okay, so we should be ready, you should have your pulse rate. I'm gonna press the timer, and then as soon as it stops, then you need to stop counting, okay? Ready, steady, go. And stop. Now, before we write it into our table, we need to multiply our answer by four because we only counted for 15 seconds and we need to do how many beats it would have done in a minute. So however many beats you had, times it by four and write it into the right-hand column of the table. Ah! 
Okay, so now you're going to count for 30 seconds, and this time you only have to times it by two. And then after that, you're going to count for a whole minute, which means you don't actually need to times it, okay? So I would like you to pause the video and then do both of those results. You will need to use your own timer, maybe on a phone or a watch. Okay, you can now work out your average resting pulse rate by just adding up your three results and dividing by three. And last of all, you need to decide whether your resting heart rate is a healthy one or not and fill that in. So it tells you if it's between 60 and 95 that you have a healthy and if it's below or above then unhealthy. Okay, moving on to SC15, which is to describe the effect exercise has on our pulse rate. We're going to be uh, measuring our pulse rate in exactly the same way, except we're going to be measuring it after we've done some exercise. So before you start measuring your pulse, you need to exercise for 30 seconds to a minute. It needs to be an intense exercise like running on the spot so that you get your heart rate up. As soon as you finish exercising, you need to start measuring your pulse rate. Remember to fill in the table as you go. Okay, then you need to fill in this section, which should be really nice and easy. On to SC16, which is to try and explain the effect exercise has on your pulse rate. So why did your pulse rate increase? So I would highly recommend that you use bullet points. You need to think of key words that you need to use and you need to link this back to what we've learned in other lessons about oxygen, glucose and respiration. So when you exercise, your muscles use up more energy. Therefore, they will need more oxygen and nutrients to be delivered so that they can produce more energy. To provide more oxygen and nutrients, your heart must beat faster to pump your blood round quicker. Okay, pause on here and copy this into the perfect answer section. Compare your answer to the perfect answer. Look at whether you've used the keywords which are in yellow. Give yourself a mark out of three by using the keywords as a guide. Now we're going to think about how we can improve our heart rate. There are different types of exercise. If we want to improve our strength, we need to do strength training. If we want to improve our stamina, we can do cardiovascular training. A combination of these different types of training can make our heart more efficient at its job and also more effective at its job. Pause on here to mark your answers. Okay, your very last task is to make your own little video showing me how to measure your resting pulse rate, how to measure your uh, pulse rate after exercise, and you also need to include why exercise increases your pulse rate and how we can become more efficient or how our heart can become more efficient. Um, once you've made your video, upload it to Showbeat to the section called Pulse Video in week three. Make sure that you check with a parent before you take a phone or an iPad or a laptop to make your video. It doesn't need to be very long, but make sure you have all the information listed.
Well done for completing lesson seven.